very noisy on the 20 meter band. We'll turn the RF gain down a little bit. Let's see what we can find. This is tuning in 500 hertz steps at the moment. This little marker here just points out where the uh, step increment is. 1 kilohertz, 10k, and then back round to 10 hertz. So on the waterfall we have a little marker here in the centre, that's where the zero IF centre lives, and then there's a purple line which shows the, the extent of the IF bandwidth. This is in upper sideband mode, so effectively that's voice band above zero. If I change mode to LSB, you can see that extends out the other side. And in CW, we have a little tiny band, 250 hertz band, uh, centered around plus 700 hertz. So it just cycles between upper, lower, and CW on the mode button. VFO button, very conventional, swaps between VFOs A and B. And if I hold the button, then it will copy the current VFO through to the other one. The display mode, this is the waterfall display we have here. And then we have a real-time FFT display here. That's the only two display modes that are active in SSB mode. If you go to CW a bit later, you'll see that there's a CW decode mode as well. So that's pretty much it. VFO mode selection, display, toggle, and then changing the step sizes. If I hold the mode button, we can get to AM and FM. So if I hold that in, that takes us to AM. And again, that's an FM mode. Down to the CW section. So we change the mode to CW. So it's approximately 250 hertz uh, CW bandwidth. And then there's a wider mode if we wish to go there. So go to the menu. Normal wide, but uh, 250 is good normally for CW. And I go back, there's an IF shift mode, should we need that?
probably worth coming down to 40 metres. See what's on that. So VFO A is currently set to 40 metres. It's getting quite noisy tonight, so I'm going to back off the the system gain. Selectivity is ever so good. <laughs> 